Hello, Bees Bladers! Welcome back, and welcome newcomers to the channel. We're gonna do a quick unboxing today. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see if it's really quick. And it's from Beyond EDC. This was sent to the channel by a subscriber that swears up and down, I have got to see this blade. Alrighty, you ready? Yeah, are you ready? Oh my gosh, it's so long. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead with the jokes. And is this, okay, there we go. This is the Beyond, oh my goodness. <laughs> this is the Beyond EDC Night Horse. Holy moly. Would you look at it? Just look at it. It's so long. <laughs> oh my gosh. And check out, oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at the texture. A little bit of texture vision for you. Oh, that is fantastic. Even down here. Even this small texture, oh, 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 oh yeah, okay, all right, nice big old thumb studs, and let's see, we will find out if this is a cap to pivot, I might do a quick disassembly for you, all right, let's see how long this blade is, will it fit in the frame, pow, right in the kisser, holy cow. <laughs> oh my lanta <laughs> holy cow now that is a blade uh that is no joke this is going to definitely perk up some ears and some eyeballs when you find out how long this blade is oh my goodness check it out night horse on that side and on this side you have beyond and look at the blade steel it's not d2 14C28 in, baby. I can definitely say I don't have any other blades in my collection that look like this. I guess officially you would call that a clip point, at least as far as I can tell. It's like it has poon, but it's an opposite poon. It's a oppa poon. <laughs> Let's see how sharp it is. It will it cut? Yes, it will. Ooh, not too bad. Not too shabby. Okay, it's sliding right through. No problems whatsoever. Very nice grind from the factory. Do you have any guess how long this knife is? It is 10 inches from tip to tip. Your blade length, 4.4 inches. We're pushing four and a half inches. Okay, go ahead with your comments. Let them flow. Your closed length is 5.65 inches. Your blade stock thickness is 120 thousandths of an inch. And behind the edge, 17 thousandths. And it trails up to 20 thousandths of an inch. You can get these bad boys in three different colors of G10. And then there's three variants of titanium. And the titanium versions have the S35V in. And let's see how the fit feels. So, oh, okay. Left and right, it is solid. Up and down, it is solid. And I am being careful to take a wide berth because it is very, very pointy. Nice looking, nice looking satin on that. Man, that is a whoo. I'm telling you what, this will reach out and touch someone or open a bag of uh, mulch or, or Cheerios or whatever you want. Oh man, it is smooth. So your action, it comes flying out. And speaking of, uh, yes. Oh, we have a really good lockup and how are we on centering? It is dead centered. So this is the kind of thumb studs you could put both fingers on and just, and it just flies out. And I bet the, yes, I can open it kind of slow with my index finger, but this is absolute drop shutting. You don't have to give it any help from gravity at all. All you have to do is hold it upright and it shuts itself and it is super smooth. I don't know if I actually want to take this apart because it is that smooth. Oh my God. Goodness gracious. So your action is fantastic. Now your ergos, you all know the size of my hand. Uh, yeah, there's uh, plenty of room in the hammer grip and in the classic grip. Okay, here's your jimping. A little bit of that jimp jimp action. The jimping's not too bad. It's, uh, I would say I'd give it about a six. I, I like seven. 10 being the too aggressive, it's not bad. I do have a good purchase on the knife and whatever I'm gonna be cutting with it, uh, yeah, my hand's not slipping at all. That's comfortable. And then in the reverse grip, oh, okay. Uh, 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 uh. I have the feeling this is uh, like a defense type knife because look how my thumb, now I see why you have all this extra handle. My thumb just naturally, I, I don't know anything about that, but I'm telling you this is very comfortable and my finger, my index finger falls right in the pocket clip. And speaking of pocket clips, let me close this pocket sword real quick. There's your pocket clip. You do have a couple mushrooms growing in the shade and uh, it's kind of, it's springy. It looks, let me see what it'll do in and out of the pocket. What's it gonna do? How is she? And I have another knife in the way. 
Gotta make room. I always have a knife in my pocket. Yeah, so I'm not getting any issue. It's not grabbing because it is inset in the G10. So that's very nice. And look at this. You have a backspacer. It's a, what, three-quarter length backspacer. I like this look. It is nice and smooth. And then up here, you do have a little bit of jimp jimps that, you know, I think, yes, that is adding. So if you hold it back here, you really do get locked in because the added jimping on the G10 and oh my goodness, that texture is really good. And get this, these are 29 bucks for 14C 28 in, 4.4 inch blade and a 10 inch knife. Oh my goodness. And then the back of the handle, you have some more of that jimping in the G10, which this, oh yeah, that's good and aggressive. Not in a bad way either. So all in all, it's locking my hand into place very well. I would like a little more, a little more aggression on that. And then do we have a, uh, your plunge grind ends right into the sharpened edge? But you know, $29, I think uh, this is definitely falling in the definitely working worth it category that is that is pretty sweet i could definitely say i don't have any knife close to looking like this in the collection and for such a large knife it does not feel heavy let's get a quick weight on this bad boy and it is 5.57 it does not feel like that at all and i'll tell you why it's because of the length if this was a normal length knife it would feel heavy but because it's spread out it does not feel like it weighs 5.6 ounces. And you know what? I do have a curiosity. I want to know whether this is a D-shaped pivot. So we're just going to break it down real quick like. Let me get a couple T8s. Hopefully I don't need a couple T8s. Let's see what happens if I start from the clip side. And okay, that's good. That's good. So this side didn't. Let's see if this moves. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Oh, look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a D-shaped pivot. That's all I wanted to know right there. Like this, it doesn't get any smoother than this. It's coming absolute drop shutty. Plus you have all that blade that's helping it drop. So yeah, it is super smooth. And look at that, it, it's centered. <laughs> it is, uh, oh yeah, this is, this is a pretty cool one. So if I had to find a nitpick, one would be give me a little sharpening choil, but take it in mind that this is only a $29 knife. Yeah, I can, I can get it. I understand. And one other nitpick would be that we, it is not a reversible deep carry pocket clip. I don't care about the deep carry so much, but it is not reversible. I do prefer that they be prefer, perversible. <laughs> Watch it. Watch it. Yeah, so I, this is a good one. I like it. I think it's definitely worth the money, especially for 14C28N. That's a good blade steel. And when it comes down, um, it has a good detent and it stays in there pretty well. I noticed if I drop it fast, it will give me a little bit of bounce bounce. So there's the Beyond EDC Night Horse. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because every Friday night, live at the Hive. Oh, right. We have so much fun. And if you su subscribe and hit the bell button, then it'll remind you, hey, in a half an hour, Bees Blades Live starts and we call it the Hive Stream. Thank you very much to the anonymous subscriber that sent this to the channel. Go watch this video. You're really going to enjoy that. And until I see you at the Hive or in other live streams or in this chats or in these comments of this video, Remember, live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.